Hi, I am Nikki Clements, and I used to make stuff like this. So I was getting ready for my Tequanonum Falls camping trip and I wanted a tarp to put underneath my tent that was pretty much the same size as my tent. One just so that I wouldn't have a whole bunch of extra tarp that I would either have to shove stakes through or fold it underneath, but also just to make it easier to position where I want to put the tent and to make sure it'll fit. Uh, my tent's actually a pretty giant 14 foot by 14 foot tent. Uh, it's actually called a vacation home. No, don't judge me. I'm 6'2". I like to be able to stand up in a tent. Doing this all weekend isn't my idea of fun. Anyway, you'd actually know all this if I had ever released my infamous camping vlog that I never got around to doing. And that would be it. Who knows? Now the point is, or the problem was, that you can't really find square tarps, at least not 14 by 14 foot ones. The best I could find was a 16 by 20 foot tarp. Now the 16 actually isn't too bad, I don't mind an extra foot all the way around, but the 20 is far too much. But that's easily remedied. All I did was cut off the hemmed edge, cut off that four foot section of tarp, sewed the hemmed edge back on, and there we go. A 16 by 16 foot tarp, perfectly sized for my 14 by 14 foot tent. So, no, resizing a tarp isn't today's video. Now the leftover tarp, while nice and long, doesn't really have much use as a tarp anymore. So I folded it up and figured I'd find something to do with it later. However, later came almost immediately when I realized I could use this extra tarp to make tarp bags for all the other stuff I was taking camping. Now these things are super easy to make. They're super effective. You can make them to the exact size of whatever you need. There's any number of ways to close them. This first one that I made, I got fancy and I used a zipper. And it's holding PVC, of course. This is all the PVC parts for my portable wood shelter unit. Now all nicely enclosed in a tarp bag, making it all the more compact and just way easier to transport. This one, I did a bit of an elastic drawstring. I just have some wood balls on there. Just opens up. This one is full of orange dowels. Again, if I ever did that camping vlog, you'd know what these are for. But I have a whole bunch of them. And again, they're in a nice compact bag, easy to carry around. This one, I did snaps. This is actually a standalone unit to hold my DIY closet organizer all nicely packed in a tarp bag. And the fourth one I made, this one, just closed with Velcro. And this one's really nice, because it's holding the grill grate. Now this thing is great for cooking food over the campfire, but of course it does get really dirty. So this bag that perfectly fits it is great for transporting it, taking it back home. I don't have to worry about it getting anything else in the car dirty. So anything that you might need a bag for, tarp is an awesome material to make it out of. Now to show you how easy it can be to make a custom bag out of tarp, I have an old camping chair that long ago lost its bag, so why don't we make a new one? So the first step is just to measure out how much tarp we're going to need. We got our object laid out on our tarp and pretty much just like wrapping a present, we're just going to fold the tarp over and cut off enough to completely cover it. Now I could taper the bag so it's a bit smaller at the bottom, but I think I'll just keep it simple and just do it straight. 
There's enough extra to fold it over. So I'll just make a mark. And there's our piece of tarp cut out. Fits the chair quite well. It's a little bit large, but that's really what you want to aim for. You can always sew it again and make it smaller. It's a lot harder to unsew it and make it bigger. Now I'm going to get a bit fancy and do a drawstring closure for this bag, but as you saw, there's any number of ways that you can close these off. You could even just take a strip of tarp, wrap it around your bag, tie it off, and there you go. It really doesn't need to be any more complicated than that. But since I want to do a drawstring, I need to do that first. Now with these tarps, it's cool because they are two different colors, so you could either make a green bag or a blue bag. I think I'm going to make a blue bag. So this will be the outside, the side that you'll see. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add in some eyelets. It's gonna go about maybe an inch and a half in. Pull this edge over so I can get in there deeper. Put our eyelet through the hole. Put the back on. There we go. Perfect. Now we're going to sew that over like that. And to make life easy on ourselves, we're going to put the cord in now. That way we don't have to try and fish it through once it's already sewn. So that should be plenty long enough. Fold that over to make the pocket, and we just sew along that edge. And there we go, just like that. There is our drawstring. We didn't sew it in place. So as you can see, it's really easy to do. Just make a few holes, put in some string, fold it over and sew, instant drawstring. Now, before we turn this into a bag, there is one more thing I wanna do. Since this is a bag for a chair, usually those have a strap. Now again, you could just take a strap of tarp, sew that on, make the strap, but we'll go a little bit more fancy and use some actual nylon strap in a nice blue to match the tarp. I'll just seal that end up just so it doesn't fray. We'll just sew that right in the middle. Sewing machine back. And we'll just do the traditional pattern that you usually see on straps like this where you just sew a box and then run an X through the middle. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a little scrap of tarp behind it just to thicken up the material and make that strap connection a bit stronger. I got a glue stick. Just gonna rub some of that on this piece. That'll just keep it in place while we sew. There we go, that classic strap X sewed on pattern. Let's do that one more time at the bottom. Right about there looks good. And by sewing that first, I can just see where I need to put this a bit easier. So I intended to do it that way. This is where the reverse comes in really handy. Instead of spinning this all the way around and then cramming all of this material in the opening, I can just spin it this way, hit reverse, and sew that backwards. Nice X pattern again. Now we can turn it into a bag, which is honestly the easiest part. So all we gotta do is fold it in half. Make sure that our inside is showing and then we just sew an L. Now the best part, we get to flip it right side out. How cool is that? See if it fits. That is an awesome camping chair bag. And you know what? I think it is a little on the large side. I think we can go just a little bit smaller. So we flip it back inside out, and then we just run a new stitch along that edge. We just cut off some of that extra margin. That looks a bit better. And still a great fit. 
One final finishing touch, I'm just gonna throw some cord stops on our string there. So fully expanded, trim that off. Should be big enough for two. A little bit of heat shrink tubing. A ga gallet. Uh, Alexa, what's the thing on the end of a shoelace called? That, that little thing on the end of a shoelace. The thing. The small plastic or metal sheet on the end of shoelaces is called an aglet. An aglet? Yes. An aglet. Yeah. Make a little aglet. Also, I'm gonna stuff a bead in the end of it, so that should never be able to go back through the cord stop. You could also just take a larger piece of heat shrink tubing, slip that over both strings. And that should work pretty good too. Both pretty good methods. This is a future Nick, by the way. I'm making a second one for my second share. And this one came out just as good. How cool is that, really? And how easy, I mean seriously, you can do that in like 10 minutes. Tarp is a really great material to work with. It sews really well, it has a really fun sound when the needle's pushing through it, just that plastic popping is kind of satisfying. It's a nice, strong, sturdy, waterproof material, relatively cheap, and you can make some really awesome bags with it. They're great for all of your camping supplies, but you can make a bag out of tarp for anything you want. And of course you don't have to use tarp. You could make this type of bag with any material and it's gonna be just as easy. I mean, to make a bag, all you need to do is fold some material in half and then sew it on both sides. And actually with tarp, you don't even have to sew it. Check this out. Take a bit of tarp here. One, two, three. It heat seals, great. Look at that, little tarp pouch. So if sewing intimidates you, you can get a little $20 heat sealer and do all kinds of cool stuff. And actually, just get one of these anyway. I wanna do a whole video on all the cool things you can do with a heat sealer, but that's pretty cool. And really, you shouldn't be intimidated by sewing. Everyone should have a sewing machine. I mean, you can go down to Walmart and get one for like 70 bucks. And this is some of the easiest sewing you can do. It's all just straight lines. And even with that, we've made something really cool, really functional. I'm just happy to be able to share this one with you guys today. So my sincere thank you for watching. Once again, I am Nikki Clements. If you're wondering, Nick is short for Nicholas and the D stands for drawstring. Anyway, I'm off to make something else. Let's face it, you're never gonna get your tarp back to factory settings, but take your time folding it up, press it under some cinder blocks for a few minutes. That's not too bad.